We have an aluminum alloy, which is in the form of a plate with a central hole under axial loading. Our goal is to estimate the mean force Pm if the force amplitude is 15 kN for a life of 10 to the power of 7 cycles. At first, we will use equation 10.21, which is modified Goodman, and in part B, we will use equation 10.27, which is SWT. In this kind of questions, if the PA and PM were both known, we would use PA and PM to calculate SA and SM. Then we would find SAR, which is a function of SA and SM. And then by using the stress concentration factor and the notch sensitivity, we would calculate KF, which is the fatigue notch factor. And then we would use the best queen equation and we would find the number of cycles. But in this case, since we don't know PM, we will work backwards. From table 9.1, for this aluminum alloy, the ultimate tensile strength is equal to 476 MPa. A is equal to 839 MPa. B is minus 0 0.102 and the yield strength is equal to 303 MPa. So now we can start with the Basquin equation. We know that sigma AR is equal to A times NF to the power of B. And it will be equal to 839 MPa times number of cycles which is 10 to the power of 7 and to the power of 0 point minus 0 point 102 and the sigma AR will be equal to 162.1 MPa. Now we should find KF to find SAR. Since the diameter over width is equal to 8.40, which is 0 0.2, the stress concentration factor will be equal to 2.53 from figure A.11 part A. And we know that the notch sensitivity is equal to the fatigue notch factor over the stress concentration minus 1. Using Peterson model, we will see that the notch sensitivity is equal to 1 over 1 plus alpha over the notch radius. Using equation 10.6 the alpha for a tensile ultimate tensile strength of 476 MPa will be equal to 0 0.51 for aluminum alloys so we will see that 1 over 1 plus 0 0.51 over will be equal to the fatigue notch factor minus 1 or 2.5 minus 1. So that the fatigue notch factor becomes 2.36. Since the fatigue notch factor times SAR is equal to sigma AR, we can say that the sigma AR will be equal to SAR will be equal to sigma AR over 
the fatigue notch factor and it is equal to 162.1 over 2.36 which is equal to 68.7 MPa. We know that the normal stress amplitude will be equal to the force amplitude over W minus D with minus diameter times thickness. We know that PA is 15 kN. W minus D is 32 and the thickness is 10 mm. So that the normal stress amplitude becomes 46.88 MPa. Now we can move to part A. Modified Goodman model tells us that SAR is equal to SA over 1 minus KFM times SM over the ultimate tensile strength. The KFM will be 1 since the material is ductile. We know SA, we know SAR and we know sigma U. When we substitute the values, we will see that the mean nominal stress will be equal to 151.18 MPa. SM is equal to PM over W minus D times T. So that PM is equal to SM times W minus D times T, which will be equal to 48.38 kN. And when we use SWT, we will consider SAR as the square root of S max times SA, which is equal to the square root of SA plus SM times SA. And when we make the computations, we will see that SM is equal to 53.8 MPa and we already know that it is equal to PM over W minus D times T so that PM becomes 17.2 kilonewtons.